All right, folks. Today's Tuesday tip is all about homemade auger covers. What we're trying to do here is give you tips to make you dinner. Out ice fishing, the most important thing to do is keep your auger blades sharp. If your auger blades aren't sharp, you won't be happy because you won't be cutting as much ice and it'll take a long time to cut ice. Dull auger blades are the worst. So, um, if you don't have an auger cover, for a lot of these hand augers, this is just a six inch hand auger. Uh, this is an Eskimo, I believe. It's red, so I assume it's an Eskimo. Um, they don't come with a lot of good covers. They come with those little crappy plastic ones that you have to have your fingers so close to the blades to put on. And if your auger blade is sharp, like I just said it should be, I don't want my fingers that close to that blade when I'm trying to put that piece back on there. So this one goes out to shucks. I think this one goes out to my dad on this one here. I cannot take credit for this. So we just have a Folgers coffee can. Maybe you don't have Folgers where you're from, but I'm sure you have coffee where you're from. Um, this is a net weight 30 and a half ounce container. And all we did was just drill a hole in the top. And the auger, this is a six inch auger, let me remind you, fits so perfectly in here. You literally just set the auger in and we just have a bungee cord that is probably about 18 inches, hooks into your hole up here, into that hole we drilled into down here. And that is that. It keeps your auger blade nice and sharp. Um, the only downside to this is this coffee can will blow all the way across the whole lake if you're not careful. Um, as you can hear, Multiferous is in the background catching fish, so I gotta go get on some fish also. Did you tell them that's the strap for the six inch? Yes. This is for a six inch auger. Bigger size might not work. Um, you might have to get a get a five gallon bucket if you're on a 10 inch auger or something. Anyways, this works really slick. Um, and my hands are completely free from the blades and I'm not worried about cutting myself or my bibs on my auger when you have something slick and handy like that. Thanks for watching this week's Tuesday tip. Um, like I said before, I gotta go catch a fish. So we'll see you Friday. What we're trying to do here is give you tips to make you dangerous.